What's up, everybody? This is like the fifth time I started this video. Uh, my name is Trez. Welcome back to The Horrible Show. Hope you're doing okay. We're at Casa Day. Lazy Eye and Deaf Dog. Here's Deaf Dog. She's pretty tired. We just got back from a walk, and uh, I just did a video about my favorite movies that are streaming on the free app called Tubi. And if you're anything like me, and if you're impatient and don't want to wait for shipping, you've joined Amazon Prime. So have I. Uh, but Amazon Prime comes with free Prime video. And let's talk about my favorite releases on Amazon Prime that are free with your membership. There are a couple releases that I do not have, and I'm going to uh, put a picture of them right in front of my face so you can enjoy that. So the first movie I'm going to be talking about, I have the movie Midsummer, but uh, it is, uh, I bought it from Redbox, honestly, so I don't have the cover, so it's, there's nothing to show you. Uh, but Midsummer is the ultimate breakup movie. It is disturbing. It is beautiful. It's a slow burn. Uh, but you feel it in your soul and you feel it uh, kind of overwhelm you. And uh, you feel the character's sadness. And you f it's so weird to have a movie that's so sunny be so sad. And uh, I... I think Ari Asher is an amazing director. I can't wait uh, for what else he does. Uh, I think his first two movies knock it out of the park. My next recommendation is kind of a creature feature that I really enjoyed. I didn't know I was going to enjoy this as much. And this is a movie called Crawl. Uh, it's a, a giant alligator movie, people in peril, uh, running away from an alligator. And it's way better than Lake Placid, and it's way better than a whole bunch of other movies. Uh, me personally thinking... Uh, if you're into a movie where you just turn your brain off, you kind of root for the characters, uh, and it's suspenseful, and it is scary, and I don't know what I would do in that situation. I can swim, but I suck at swimming. Not, like, like, great. So, uh, it really makes you, it, it, it's such a, it seems so real life to me. I don't know why. I don't know if the giant alligator part is in, is real life, but there's alligators, uh, there's places that have hurricanes, so I thought this movie was a whole lot of fun, uh, way more entertaining than I thought it was gonna be. So I recommend Crawl thoroughly. This is the Arrow Video House box set one through four, uh, but the movie we're gonna be talking about today is the original House. This is one of the first uh, horror comedies I remember watching growing up. Um, this movie is a little schlocky, it's a little uh, tongue in cheek, but uh, I think it's a fun ride. I'm trying to put in movies that everybody can watch. Uh, I don't want to be designated for one type of horror fan. I want your more serious horror movies, and I want your 80s, more fun horror movies in here as well. Um, this movie is about a writer named Roger Cobb, and is, uh, he's battling demons uh, in his head through Vietnam. Uh, his son has gone uh, missing in his aunt's house, and there's a lot of weird and strange things going on in his life that he's got to kind of get through. Uh, his neighbors are all up in his grill. Uh, I think this movie is great. I think it's trippy. It's the whole team that did most of the first four Friday the 13th movies. Um, it's not Sean Cunningham directing, but it's the it's the whole team behind it, uh, directed by Steve Miner. And uh, I think it's a fun ride. Uh, I think Harry Manfredini does the music. So it's got a lot of the cool Friday the 13th vibes to this. So I thoroughly recommend it. If you want a movie that you hadn't seen before that's a lot of fun, check it out. And speaking of the Friday the 13th team, we have Friday the 13th Part 4 Final Chapter. And I don't know what kind of movies you're into. If you're into slashers, I thoroughly recommend this movie. And you don't necessarily need to see the first four three Friday the 13th, because uh, it kind of picks up. It kind of picks it up. Just know that Jason is hard to kill. That's all you really need to know. Uh, I'm not trying to spoil the first Friday the 13th to you, and if you don't know what happens in the first Friday the 13th, God bless you if that nobody spoiled that for you. But uh, yeah, Jason, he's on the prowl. There's a lot of kids, and they're not going to have a good night. And it's one of the best Friday the 13th, arguably a lot of people's favorite of the series. Uh, the gore effects by Tom Savini are fantastic. Um, Jason is so, so fast and so scary. And I don't know what, I don't know what I'd do in this situation. Probably be murdered. 
So watch Friday the 13th part four, the final chapter. I know there are so many Friday the 13th movies, but so most of them are great. Like if you know what it is, it's a slasher. Most of them are great. Check them out. What we have here is A Quiet Place. I saw this streaming on Amazon, uh, went out, bought the Blu-ray. Uh, it's like the movie Bird Box, but better. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bird Box. I'm sorry, Sandra Bully, but it is. Uh, I was really looking forward to the sequel that was supposed to come out this year, but movies don't happen anymore. Um, uh, I thoroughly, I really suggest you guys watch this movie. I thought it was a sleeper, sleeper hit. It's got so much depth. I think it's fantastic. Uh, Emily Blunt, John Krasinski did so well. Uh, John Krasinski as a director, I think he did fantastic. So really, really watch. We have the other film by Ari Asher, Hereditary. This movie, it, it like, all right. So whether you like, if you watch this movie and whether you like this movie or not, I think it's so important for you to just experience it. I've never felt so alone and I've never been so affected by a horror movie like I, I was when I watched this. I remember, because I saw this in the movie theater, I remember leaving the theater just like, what the hell did I just watch? Like, you this, you feel like you gotta take a shower to wash this movie off. It's so crazy. Um, it's, it's not what I was expecting at all in a horror movie. It's not conventional, but it's it's so sad it's so sorrowful it, it 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 envelops you in this feeling and you can't escape it it's it's absolutely amazing whether you like it or not i feel like it's something to be experienced and experience it right now it's on, it's on prime uh this is another movie where i think you should get headphones i think you should watch it in the dark maybe on the ipad big screen tv whatever you got i think it's fancy rosemary's baby this, this is an unadulterated classic. It is so good. Um, it, it keeps you guessing whether we have a mother that's slowly slipping into madness or if there's more uh, sinister goings on in her apartment complex. But this movie I feel like is perfect in every way. Uh, this Criterion release is, is amazing. But stream it on Amazon. Uh, if you've never seen movies like this, this is a great example of movies that came out uh, in the later 60s or the early 70s and what kind of vibe they were going for. So if you don't know whether you like early movies like that, I want you to use this as a judge because it is one of the best movies of all time, let alone one of the best movies of the uh, 60s and uh, late 60s. But I'll throw it into the early 70s. Um, Roman Polanski, whatever you think of him as a person, uh, is is very, very debatable. But uh, it's not debatable that this movie is amazing. So go watch this movie right now if you've never seen it. How about some J-Horror? Dark Water. Underrated. So criminally underrated. It's creepy. It's uh, atmospheric. A lot of people sleep on this movie, and I don't know why. Pretty essential. I watched uh, Audition the other day. Another fantastic J-Horror. I don't think J-Horror is getting enough credit these days. Honestly. I think they had a lot of credit. Give it to them when we were making horrible uh, American remakes of their movies, but uh, the, grudge, the Grudge and The Ring are, are pretty good, but everything else was garbage. Um, so go go see Dark Water. The remake of Dark Water is garbage. So um, yeah, I think it's important for you to watch. I think these directors are important. I think these movies are very important because they speak on so many levels, so many cultures, and to so many people. All right, so we have a, a, a little bit more fun, almost slasher. Almost slasher, late 90s. We got Wishmaster, the original Wishmaster. This movie is so much fun. Um, cool makeup effects, uh, story. It's like it's like having a genie. You get your three wishes, but it's uh, all the wishes that you make turn out to make things worse. Um, it's gory as hell. It's funny. It's fantastic. Uh, you have so many uh, staples in the horror community that make cameos in this movie. Um, it's 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 a love letter to cheese and all that stuff just wrapped up into one movie uh, I thoroughly recommend it it's so much fun uh, I watch this movie all the time uh, the sequels I think are on Amazon as well uh, check those out too uh, they're not as good as the first one but 
you know, enjoy yourself. Enjoy Wishmaster. Tell your mom. Call your grandma. Tell her to watch Wishmaster. And last but not least, this is a new movie to me. Uh, this movie is called I See You. This movie blew me away because it is a fantastic thriller. Uh, you don't know what to expect throughout the whole movie. Uh, things keep on changing. You got plot twists. But I think this movie is a great horror, mystery, thriller, drama, suspense. Um, and this is this one is a little bit harder to find. You can get the Arrow release uh, in the UK, or you can get uh, you can get the American release. A lot of time I see it on DVD, and a lot of people uh, would rather pick it up on Blu-ray. A lot of people that I know. Uh, I, was, I was really caught off guard when I watched this movie. I watched it on Prime with my dad, and we just we finished the movie and we we're like, dude, that movie was way better than we expected. Because me and my dad, whenever we're hanging out, if we pick a movie, it's usually it usually ends up pretty cheesy. It's pretty schlocky. And then we look at each other after the movie. We're like, oh, that was, uh, that was the movie. So I see you. I was blown away by it. Some parts that I did predict a little bit, but as as far as the main story, uh, as as the, the twists were unraveling, I was like, wow. At, but at one per at one point I thought it was like an alien movie. Uh, at another point I thought it was a serial killer movie. At another point I thought it was a slasher movie, a home invasion movie. I didn't know what the hell kind of movie it was, but it kept me guessing, and I thought it was really good. So if you have one movie to pick from all of these, um, if you are the let's say if you're just a casual horror fan, I would say I see you because it's not it's not super gory or anything like that. Uh, I think it will keep you enthralled for the whole viewing time. But uh, if you are a huge horror fan, I recommend everything else. I recommend all these movies. Watch them. Love them. If you want them, go own them. Buy the Blu-rays. They have a lot of cool special editions out. Uh, my name has been Trez. That's Keeks over there. Uh, this is a horrible show. If you like this show, uh, join us. We got about 230 subscribers or something like that. Elbow drop that subscriber button, brother. And then you can join us and join the horrible show. Or whatever. Whatever you want to do. But if you like this movie, I'd like to communicate with everybody too. Check out our Instagram. Uh, leave comments in the comment section. Whatever you want to do. If you like this, subscribe. Check out the other videos. Got a lot of other things to talk about. Might do one more after this. Uh, and that might have to do with voodoo that nobody knows about. Because, uh, yeah, I guess it's now movies anywhere. Whatever. Let's try it.